From the moment you donate blood, it begins a long journey through these labs at the South African National Blood Service. Here, each unit of blood is carefully tested and processed before it's transported to hospital blood banks for patients in need of blood products. The blood arrives strapped to ice packs in specially temperature-controlled boxes. So when the blood arrives, we uh, would open these hampers and check for temperature. Uh, temperature control is very, very important. The blood needs to be transported at 20 to 24 degrees Celsius and we've got containers that are specially validated for that purpose. Then we would scan each and every unit in that hamper onto our Meditech computer system. After we've done that, the units are centrifuged. During centrifugation, all the various components in your blood separates. In your blood, you've got red cells, you've got platelets, white cells and the plasma. Before the donated blood can be declared safe, it goes through a number of tests in this testing lab. This machine tests for the presence of antibodies that can indicate HIV, hepatitis C, hepatitis B and syphilis. The testing vials are barcoded and carefully recorded. Only blood that tests negative for all of these diseases will be given to blood banks and hospitals. The public mustn't think that um, whenever they donate blood, we just take the blood as it is and uh, just go to issue it to a patient who's in need in the hospital. There's a lot of work going into that blood before it could be used by the patient. So we take pride in what we're issuing because our aim is to save life, not just to issue quantity blood, but we to issue quality blood. This centrifugation machine revolves 3,000 times per minute, which helps the heavier blood components separate from the lighter components. After centrifugation, we would then take the units out of the centrifuge and load it onto a separation device. The separation de device will then allow us to place the plasma into a bag, uh, the red cells into another bag, and then the rest of the components known as the buffy coat, which contains mostly the uh, platelets, is left in the, in the original bag. One unit of blood can save up to three lives because the lab technicians are able to separate it out into three different parts. These components are then used to treat different illnesses. One unit of blood, ultimately you can um, help one oncology patient that requires platelets. You could help a baby that requires red cell, filtered red cell concentrates. And you would also maybe uh, be able to, uh, to help patients that burned wounds that requires plasma. So there's a wide variety of, of uses for, for the various components. The South African National Blood Service encourages donors to donate regularly so that the country can have access to a steady supply of blood products for patients in need. We've got targets that we set for the year and um, it's, it's important for us to collect blood um, you know, on a weekly basis, not just at the, in the beginning of the month because the red cell concentrates don't last that long. Um, so there's always a shortage. We never have more than three days stock in our inventory department. So yeah, we encourage uh, you know, donors to donate regularly.